Okay. How dark it is should tell you how early in the morning is. How early is it, honey? Uh, early for her, not for me. <laughs> it's 5.30, folks. 5.30 a.m. I am up. Look at this. I'm dressed for work. You can't see crap. I'm sorry. We're having a big adventure today. Come join us on our big adventure. Up, up and away. Well, that question you're afraid to ask. Uh, yes, you'll all fit. <laughs> Everyone does every time. Actually, we're a little, little lightly loaded. We carry 12 to 14 in this thing.
to Raleigh. I told you I'd go to Raleigh. You make a good target. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. They didn't have light, they had fire, and the ladies back then, they wore hoop skirts, and they noticed that the ladies would walk near the fires, and their hoop skirts would kind of billow out and go up. Of course, they were men, they noticed. But what they also noticed was the lift. So they tried putting a bag over the chimney to see if it went up, and sure enough, it did. At the time, they thought that was the coolest thing they'd ever seen, so they thought, well, let's see if this bag will lift something. So they made a great big bag, one that was 70,000 cubic foot. Good example is the balloons uh, at festivals are about that same size. They put it on four poles, about size of uh, light poles, and built a big bonfire underneath it out of anything that would smoke. See, back then, they thought it was the smoke that made it go up. It's all they could see. So they used, like, rotting meat, lamb's wool, straw, paper. It was nasty. They put animals in. They put a chicken, a duck, and a goat in this thing. And said cut it away and off these critters go 2,000 feet in the air came back down crashed and burned only thing that happened though is the dock broke its little leg so they figure if all that happens to a puny little dock is a broken leg then people should be able to handle it right well they weren't going to do it themselves so they then went to the king asking him for peasants he offered up prisoners said they're going to the gallows anyways if they die so mo to be through the biggest party in French history, still to date, in fact, uh, Benjamin Franklin sailed over to see this, Marie Lynn Antoinette was there, anyone that was anyone showed up. They started hauling these prisoners out, and as everyone's booing and hissing, throwing rotten fruit at them, the royal historian Pilotre de Rosier came running forward. He's yelling, wait, 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 if this is successful, you're going to be sending prisoners into history. That's crazy. King said, then you do it. So this brave historian jumps in the craft, big plume of smoke, four poles, says, cut me away, and off he went. 2,400 feet up. Now keep in mind, nobody's ever actually left the ground in flight and lived through it before. This dude's up there tripping. All he knows is that fire made him go up, so he started stoking that fire like a wild man, and sure enough, he leveled off. Went on with the first ever successful man flight in history. Yep. Came back to the king, and the king looked him over, said, well, what happened to you? Why are you all bloody? I thought it was successful. He said, well, I was flying over the countryside, and all the farmers and ranchers, they were chasing after me with pitchforks and knives, yelling, kill the devil. <laughs> well, think about it. 1783, you're out there farming your crop, big black ball, <laughs> smoke coming at you. Obviously not an angel. So the king put out a decree with three very important things to it. First and foremost, to bring a small token from the royal court to show that you are indeed civilized men and not demons from hell. <laughs> See, back in 1783, this was only a drink of royalty. Peasants could be hung for them, drinking it. They made it, but they couldn't drink it. So they'd hang it out of the basket yelling, we come in peace. <laughs> Farmers and ranchers would in turn chase after them with cups or glasses instead of pitchforks and knives. <laughs> Hence, the champagne balloon. 